And as soon as I go to the restroom, the pistol right there, you know, it's in the same room. We're in the same little room they put me in. It's flooded. I'm talking big old dookie, bro, like a fucking 12-inch dookie. Alright, gang, so right now, man, I'm on the way to go pick up some wax for my local dispensary. Y'all can see in the title, man, I got this new title that I'm going to be doing. Oh, look, we got a cop right here, too. I wonder if it's illegal to be recording while you're driving. Because, look, that cop is right there. And he's probably coming for me, too, because um, the fact that I was just chilling at that one spot. I was, like, just texting my homie and shit. Uh, I feel like this neighborhood is just really bad. Yeah, this is definitely a bad neighborhood. Um, so yeah, man, I'm on the way to local dispo, and I don't know, man. I'm I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in a bit right now. Let's get it. Got that boy Izzy with the glizzy. And the What's up, man? Look at Maddy. Y'all wanna see <laughs> Mad Mad's dad? And Izzy dad, <laughs> look, yo, <laughs> that's my boy right here, man. Look, they all look like triplets. <laughs> yeah, gonna go smoke this wax. Hell yeah, man. We about to go smoke and talk on this shit right here. The new concert coming up soon. Oh, shit. oh we're gonna do it big this time. Next bigger. concert is gonna go bigger crazy. And better. Bigger, We're gonna sell bigger. like a thousand tickets, bro. No cap. Yeah. Big like my wiener, man. Ay. <laughs> <laughs> this is called a sickle autumn, okay? Sickle autumn from the bottom, you feel me? Straight live review. No BS. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight experiencing it as much as y'all are at the same time, you feel me? So before we start this story time, let's just get into this real quick and um, let's see how to work this. We got the pamphlet. You gotta respect it comes in the plastic because a lot of pieces don't come in plastics and you know, got got uh, handprints on it already and stuff. Mm, the capper. So it also comes with this bad boy right here, which is a dabber tool and it looks like some of those, and it looks like some of those things that you put in your ears. Cotton swabs and of course the charger. So. Pretty simple, uh, like a pimple, and I'm about to get into it, man. So let's take this bad boy out the packaging. Bro, this fucking airplane, man. Well, first things first, let me take out this thing right here, which is my dabber tool. And then I got my cotton swabs right here as well. You know, cotton swabs. Um, let me make sure I have these ready. I'm gonna try it for my ear, see how it works. Why would they give you cotton swabs for your ear? Maybe the gas is so loud that they could you you're not good, you're gonna have to clean your ears up. Alright gang, I'm about to be telling y'all how I got locked up, you feel me? And how I got caught with a stolen gun, so this kinda sucks to talk about and I'm kinda tired of getting arrested so many times, you know, like I get I'm at a certain age in my life where it's like I feel like I'm getting way too old for this. Let me close this for y'all. It's a loud ass bird saying, Cuckoo, cuckoo. Shut the fudge up. You think this is funny? Anyway, uh, I got, I, I'm getting too old for this. You know, like, if you see certain rappers getting locked up nine days and they're like 20, 30, like, what do you think you're gonna come out to? 50 years old? We got SPM coming out. He's like, what, 50 years old, bro? Who the hell you think you is thinking you get to come out and, and, and be who you thought you were in your 20s, 30s? You know what I'm saying? There's levels to this stuff. And right now, I feel like I'm already too old to be going in and out of jail. And to be dealing with new cases that I have to deal with years from my life from now. You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I going to do? Time when I'm 25 and then get out when I'm 30? This is not cool, man. And I'm tired of it. And it's really not even my fault. That's why in this video, man, I'm gonna be explaining to you how I got arrested. One, two, three, four, five. All my cases I'm dealing with basically, so y'all can have an update about what's going on. So without further ado, I finally charged this sicko piece. So let me put some water in the top real quick. You know, you just pop that bad boy up. Get your water bottle. And you post them up. I'm the best poet ever because you know I'm from Texas. So make sure you pour with precision. 
As soon as I get pulled over, he tells me he pulled me over for speeding. I didn't even reach the speed limit because as soon as I turned, the lights were on. I didn't even get a chance to even hit the speed limit. How the fuck was I even speeding? You know what I'm saying? And this is the same dude who pulled me over last time. So what I was thinking is this dude pulled me over for no reason. Even the first time he said I was improper lane switching. The first time he arrested me. Last time I got arrested, y'all. It was him. It was the same person. Same officer. Same street. Same time. Same date. Same date. He's not going to get away with this, y'all. This is false justice. He will get his justice. I got a lawyer. This is an easy case. You got an easy case, buddy. Anyway, long story short, he lies to me, tells me my plate lights are out. I go look at my plate lights, and guess what? They're not out. He fucking puts my hands behind my back, and he tells me he's putting my hands behind my back because there's a joint in the console, in the center console. And, bro, it's 2021. We smoke Delta 8, CBD, EBD, and EBT. You feel me? Like, bro, you could literally, we smoke whatever nowadays, man. Like, you ain't even got a motherfucking smoke. And how do you know that's weed? It could be even tobacco in a joint, bro. Bro, hell no, nah, there's not no tecato that just pulled up right here. Hell no, nah, he not about to jump this fence. You about to, what the fuck you doing, shorty? She about to jump my ball bar fence, bitch. You better get the fuck on. What the hell? Only in San Antonio. I mean, California. Anyway, gosh, damn. Shit throwing off my vibes. I'm about to put some of this in our sicko right here. Now, I hate puff coats, bro. They don't ever get cloudy how I want it. I swear they don't. I hate it. If this gets cloudy, I'm fucking with it. I'm doing this. I'm rocking with it. Every time I hit a puff coat, every single time, it's always low temp dabs. I hate that, bro. I am a hardcore smoker. You feel me? So look, man. Look, that's how hardcore I am. I don't even use a tool. I don't even need a toolie, you fully. You feel me? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and try this bad boy out real quick before I continue this story. Click it five times. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Click it five times fast, my bad, that shit was slow. Then you click it two times. Just like that. Now I'm gonna wait for this bad boy to heat up. And it's as simple as that, man. But this better milk up. Oh, yeah. Oh. God damn. Oh, my God. Gosh, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, that's it right there. That's nice. That's what I wanted, man. Shout out to the sicko, bro. We got... Mm -mm -mm. Then you get one of these, man. I thought this was for your ears. But this is actually so you could clean out your... Um... Your ears? No, not your ears. This is actually so you could clean out... This tip right here. And this is the same cop that pulled me over last time, right? So basically, he already found me with a gun last time. He caught me with a 40 MMP uh, Smith & Wesson, I believe. No, it was a 40 MMP. I don't even know. Okay, it was a gun. And anyway... I had another gun, right? I don't do I don't do stolen guns, so people game like I didn't know I had a stolen gun. Um, it was in my backpack, in the back seat. So he finds the gun, and I'm chilling. I'm thinking it's not stolen, none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So after he ran the gun, it apparently came out stolen, and I had to go in the back of the cop car. So he puts me in the back of the cop car, and um, so he puts me in the back of the cop car. And also, he puts that girl that I was with in the back of the cop car. Now, remember, this is the first time I even met this girl as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I told this girl that my, one of my friends could help. You know what I'm saying? So I told her, you know, look up one of my friends. Because she had nothing to do with this. So she obviously wasn't going to get arrested. So I told her, you know, how to help me get out. And how, also how to help her as well, you know, if anything. So we're in the back of the cop car now. And they're searching the car. I'm talking about they're doing limb from limb. They're tearing everything up, breaking my stuff, looking under the car. This The cop looked in the gas tank. You seen that fucking TikTok where they look in the gas tank? Like, 
He was looking in the gas tanks. He was looking in holes everywhere. Like, what the hell is wrong with you in the air vent? Oh, my God. Okay. So they didn't find nothing after all that searching. All they did find was my $3,000, you know, the joint, and then um, the gun, of course. So, boom. They take the girl out, and she says if she could ride with us because she's going to wait at the police station till like, I get out. She was being real, you know what I'm saying? Shout outs to her, man. Shout outs to the real ones. The jail, they let this girl go. And before she goes, she gives me her number, man. Um, If we get 10K likes, I'll, I'll leak her number, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so she gives me her number. I'm like, all right, so it's that, that, one, 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 one. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, bet. So, boom, I remember her number. It's the only number I remember. I don't remember no numbers, man. Everybody changes their phone numbers, man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So, I don't remember no numbers, right? And I go to the county, you know, everything's the same. It's just a different day, you feel me? So, I, as soon as I go in, or you're about to go in, they tell me to take off my earrings. Somehow, my earrings got stuck in my ears, and now they're just a part of me, you know? Like, when I die, they're going to be on my ears until my body rots, okay? I'm going to need them surgically removed if I ever want them to take them off. He comes and tries to take them off. I'm like, bro. Don't touch my ears. He's like, you think you're tough? I'm like, damn. Like, chill out. I ain't even say nothing. I said, don't touch my ears. That's it. He's like, I'm the one who's going to beat the shit out of you. I said, oh, you're going to beat the shit out of me. He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, all right. I'm like, what's your what's your badge? What's your name? He ain't even have a name. They just had something called cert. So, like, I thought that was his, his shit or whatever. Nah, that's just, like, their, their armor or whatever. That's not even his name, but that boy did shut up. Now, think about it. If he touches me, man, I'm a boss up and get a lawyer and you're going to get fired. So, is it worth you getting fired, bro? Last time I was in jail, all the old times I was in jail, I never been woke. I never knew how to meditate. I never knew how to have peace. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, oh, let me hit this. So, I started learning how to have peace, you know? Instead of being frustrated and having anxiety, you have to really see peace, man. You have to have control of that anxiety because all that's going to do is make it worse. And it's helped me so much. All the times I was in jail, I never meditated. When I finally meditated in jail, I found peace in jail. How do you ever do that? And then I was meditating. I was peaceful. They told me to take a picture. You know your photos. You know how they... The mugshot. There you go. Your mugshots. They tell me to take my mugshot. And I'm like, okay. So I take the mugshot like this. And there's like a big fat hippopotamus ad dude. And he's all like rude and stuff. And he's just like, he's, I don't know. I just I was just having a blast. So I'm just like, and boom, yada, yada, etc. He gets mad. He's like, Santos, that's my last name. He's like, come here. I'm like, yeah. He's like, take off your earrings. I'm like, I can't take them off. They're permanent. And I've told this to them so many times, even a different time. I was last time I was there, I told them. And they just, just don't listen. Like, it's crazy. So, I finally got at the bottom, by the way. And I'm like, hell no, nah, I ain't going in there. I didn't say that, but in my head, I'm like, why am I getting put in the room? You know what I'm saying? And he's all like, uh, we're going to put you in here until we can find a tool to cut those earrings off. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Hell yeah. So he puts me in this one room and I'm like, bro, you're wasting your time. Like, you're not going to cut my earrings off. Even if I wanted him to cut my earrings off, he can't cut them off. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you have to get them surgically removed and him doing anything else will definitely mess up my ears. He could definitely get sued and he could definitely get fired. Now, is that what you want? You know what I'm saying? Is that worth it? Am I worth you getting fired? You know what I'm saying? Um, basically he puts me in this room. It smells like booty. I don't know why it smells like booty until I'm gonna tell y'all right now. So I'm thinking, okay, yada, yada, etc. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? 
Why am I in this room? He closes the door. Pushes me in there. Closes the door. Boom. Like, I'm some kid, bro. I hate this, man. I hate jail. And it's okay, you know? If you don't want to go to jail, don't do a crime. But like I said, I didn't know that shit was stolen. Like, I'm, I get put in these predicaments, and I didn't even do nothing. He pulled me over for no reason. But anyway, long story short, I'm like, what the hell? And so that dude, that, that, that fat dude, he leaves. And as soon as he comes back, he comes back with some food, bro. I'm talking about Big Sam, whatever. I don't know what the fuck he had. He just comes back with some food, a drink. And boom, he sits it down. He sits down. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all just put me in this room for nothing, nigga? You fucking asshole? I fucking get down because, like, there's a little creak on, on the bottom of the door. If not, they can't really hear you good. But they could hear you damn near good if you do it on the bottom. I already know this from being a juvenile. So I go to the bottom, nigga. I'm like, hey, you fat-ass bitch. You could, you could eat right, but you can't do your job. Y'all got me in for no reason. Y'all can't even cut these. Boom, I'm all, I'm all giving in, man. I forgot about the meditation. But I also had to take a piss. So I was like, man, I got to take a piss. I finally could take a piss. So I go to the restroom. And as soon as I go to the restroom, the piss is right there. You know, it's in the same room. We're in the same little room they put me in. It's flooded. I'm talking big old dookie, bro. Like a fucking 12-inch dookie. That shit said like this. It said like, man, I guess shit like a fake dookie, man. I'm like, what the hell? And that's what the smell was. It smelled like booty juice. And plus, also, there was two dudes. I forgot to tell you, when I looked back in that room, there was two dudes right there. And when I was screaming and shit, I looked back again, and they're all like, they're all looking like, you know how you like wake up for school or some shit, y'all confused and shit? And that's them. I'm like, my bad. This shit was funny as hell, man. I was like, damn, what the hell? I'm over here bugging and shit, so that's when I really stopped. I'm like, damn, I know how it is when you try to sleep and some niggas just screaming and shit. So I'm like, fuck it, I'ma just meditate. But then I look, I, but then I was like, okay, I was like, fuck it, I'ma just take a piss real quick, whatever. And then I'ma meditate. Boom, I go to take a piss to flood the toilet. Ah, it was disgusting. Then I had to meditate. Now the bench that they were on, it was two dudes in there, both laying by each other. It was fucking nasty, and I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I fucking sit on the floor. And I just started meditating. The floor is nasty. It smells like booty. I smell nasty. It was just terrible, man. Finally, they let me out that room after hours of meditating. And I finally get bailed out. Um, I call that girl because that's the only number I remember. And I get bailed out. I go to my property. You know, I'm trying to pick up my $3,000. And I'm trying to pick up my phone. You know what I'm saying? Now, they give me my ID. And they even have the nerve to give me three dollars in fucking quarters and pennies and change. Okay? Peep game. I gave them three thousand dollars. They give me three dollars and quarters and pennies and change. Then he tells, I tell the guy, hey, where's my money? Where's my phone? Where's my blue bag with my money? You know what I'm saying? Where's my stuff? This dude's all like, oh, I didn't see nothing else. I'll check again, though. You better go check again. What the hell is wrong with you, dirty cop? Are you serious? I signed off on it. And I signed off my grandma's name on there too, y'all. I'm telling y'all. So, I signed I signed them off. My prop I didn't sign off my property. I signed my property so like I knew what they had. It was $2,870, you heard? Basically 3K. I'm rounding it up to 3K, you know what I'm saying? So, long story short, I'm over here like, bro, where's, you know, what's going on? He comes back, like, in 40 minutes or so, like, 30 minutes. I'm just waiting for 30 minutes. I see the cop who pulled me over. He's he's on a sign in that fucking facility or that, that office, that whatever department. Officer of the year 2020. No wonder you officer of the year. You're pulling people over for no reason, bro. If you're watching this, you are dirty, bro. And I want everybody to know your face. I hope I'm... I'm a... Ah, you're lucky I can't pull up your face right now. But as soon as I beat this case, man... As soon as I... As soon as this case is over... I'm definitely gonna throw your face out there. You are a dirty cop. That's not right. You don't be pulling over people for over... You don't be pulling people over for no reason. That's not cool. We don't accept that. That's not cool, man. <coughs> Anyway, so I seen that. I'm like, what the hell? All shady. Like, no wonder you do. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, he comes back and he's like, darby, 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 darby. it's seized. I'm like, what? He seized my $3,000 and my phone. And I didn't know at the time, but they even seized my car. So my car was put on hold as well for just this, for stolen gun. That's After that, 
I go and try to get out of my car and they tell me, of course, my car seized to whatever. Obviously, I got my car back. So, I'm going to keep y'all updated about the money and my phone, you know. Keep y'all updated about everything, you know, because y'all y'all the gang. I consider y'all pretty much like family. And, yeah, they trying to do your boy Young Mike dirty, man. Like, if I ain't work hard to get where I'm at, you feel me? Like, if I ain't consistently post videos, consistently do music, you know. Shout out to the sicko man. This thing is sick. Always oh, like little. I don't know man. This is it man. It's sicko man. Better than a puff coat. In my opinion, y'all, I never liked puff coats, that's why I never got one. But this atom. I believe it's called Atom, man. I don't know how to read, man. I, I dropped out of second grade, but clean hit Atom. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all want more videos, make sure y'all subscribe. Hit the notification bell so y'all can stay updated, you feel me? And y'all won't miss out on no videos. And drop a like if y'all want more story times, man. I got story, 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 stories on stories. You feel me? So make sure y'all hit y'all hit the like button and, and comment, you know, more stories. And, and if y'all like the music in the beginning, comment and drop, uh, drop that song. Whatever, you know, new music. Comment, whatever, man. Just spread love, positivity. See y'all next time. Let's get it.